life groups for getting involved and serving some elderly ladies in our community last Saturday. We went to Miss Connie Page's house and Miss Roxanne Smith's house, and we did a lot of yard work and general cleanup. You can read Miss Connie's thank you note on our jump board. Thanks, Thanks so, so much, much guys. guys! Guys, it's officially October, and that means it's bonfire season! In just two short weeks on Sunday, October 21st, is the NSM bonfire. Feel the fear. It's from 5.30 to 9 p.m., and we'll have games, hay rides, food, a scare trail, and of course, a bonfire complete with s'mores. The cost is only a $5 suggested donation, and we have invite cards for you to give your friends who are in 6th to 12th grade. The cards have all the info you need in case you don't remember. It's our 10-year anniversary, and we're determined to make this the best bonfire ever. So make sure... My name is Taylor Arizari, and I'm here to uncover the mysteries of biotech labs and what secrets it held. For my first stop, I went to the now abandoned biotech labs facility to see if I could uncover some unanswered questions. The local sheriff's department gave me the keys to the lab, warning me about the horrors I might find in there. As I explored biotech labs, something was off. There was really nothing there, like everything was just taken out. Someone or something had been there and raided the place. Then it got me thinking of an old advertisement Biotech ran. Industries happily supplies jobs for the small thriving town of Crumb. Thank you for allowing us to be on your side. Supplying jobs for the small town. Where are the people now? I might know of someone who I could talk to but it won't be easy tracking him down. What answers, what secrets will he give me? My name is Dr. James Parrish, and welcome to Biotech Labs. 